I think we are overlooking the heel turn of Xavier Woods probably being the best heel turn in a long time. And I look, I've been waiting for the New Day to break up for years now. Ever since like 2019 or 2020, I've been waiting for Xavier Woods or Kofi Kingston or even Big E to turn heel. But I think the one that really should turn heel is Xavier Woods. And people are overlooking the possibility of an Xavier Woods heel turn. Because why? Everybody else is focused on the other storylines on Raw, the other angles, right? In the main event scene, a lot of people are focused on Gunther and Randy Orton. A lot of people are focused on the Judgment Day angle, Liv and Dom and Rhea. A lot of people are more excited about Punk and McIntyre, etc. Rollins and Bronson Reed. Those are the most. Oh, yeah. And also the wide six and American made. So you got all these prominent storylines happening on Raw. But meanwhile, we're overlooking what could be the biggest heel turn in the WWE in a long time. And that's Xavier Woods. The New Day breaking up. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> that could be the biggest storyline of the year. Now we're seeing the signs being shown in front of us, right? In that six man tag, you saw Kofi completely, completely disregard Xavier Woods. He snubbed his own best friend and decided to give the hot tag to Odyssey Jones. So that should tell you right there, that's already going to plant the seed and already be a motivator for Xavier Woods to turn on Kofi. Xavier Woods keeps saying that, oh, everybody's trying to break us up. Everybody's trying to, you know, drive a wedge between us. We the New Day, we've been a tag team for 10 years now. It's going to be our 10th anniversary. Which is going to make it even more surreal when they do break up which could be before their 10th anniversary as a tag team or on the exact date, which is probably October or, no or November. But I don't think Triple H is going to wait that long to pull the trigger on the New Day disbanding. But it's a long time coming. And I can see that whole storyline, that whole angle, um, outdoing most of the prominent raw storylines going on right now. Especially, look, y'all got to think about this. Y'all think Odyssey Jones is just going to be in Kofi's corner the whole time. No, I'm going to take it a step further. That's, I'm, I'm convinced, and I, and I can also see this happening too, where Xavier Woods is plotting on Kofi, right? But he decides to get in the ear of Odyssey Jones to basically take him under his wing, under Xavier Woods' wing, and they can get rid of Kofi, toss him aside, so that they can have success on their own accord because Xavier Woods could think in his mind, listen, Kofi Kingston is holding me back. You know, he's been world champion. I've never been world champion, so I need to get my shine. But he also brought in Odyssey Jones. I can manipulate the big guy to joining my team, and we can, you know, take out Kofi, and we can be a success together. Where Xavier Woods is managing Odyssey Jones. Odyssey Jones is Xavier Woods' bodyguard, pretty much, right? 
So I can definitely see an Odyssey Jones, you know, doing all the dirty work for Xavier Woods, right? And I believe Xavier Woods would be an excellent heel. I mean, if you just if you just see how Xavier Woods carries himself at times, especially having um what you call it, a bachelor's degree or a doctorate degree, whatever, or a master's or something. You you can definitely envision him being that narcissistic, um, stuck up, egotistical, um, asshole like heel. That it would be very easy for people to dislike him, and I can see him getting a lot of heat just by being the reason why the new day broke up. I mean, think about it like this: Xavier Woods is the one that brought the new day together. And he'll be the first one to break them apart. The story kind of tells itself and it comes all full, full circle.